Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back once again uh, with Colonel Failure's Uncle Doctor Clinic Hollywood Stars Clinic Hollywood. Um, yeah, that's about the size of it. Uh, and as my longtime collaborator KRS One used to say, whoop whoop, that's the sound of the paramedics. Um, in today's episode, we're going to finally get to see the uh, the MRI and CT scanner. I think it's a CT scanner. I can't remember. Some kind of scanner. Uh, we're going to see them being uh, being operated. Uh, I would imagine that uh, that we will uh, we will get to experience patients uh, being MRI'd. Uh, relatively quickly, uh, given just how often my uh, my clinical staff uh, suggest that I've only just started. Bumson, he's off already. I mean, I know we did quite a lot of oh look, it's Bumson getting someone's shirt off gags in the last episode, but he's he's insatiable. You can't uh, you can't stop him. Anyway, what's going on with this fella? Uh, sinusitis, tonsillitis. All right, fine, good. Do you want to give him an MRI? Probably can't rule it out. Um, anyway, uh, the objective is going to be to see these working uh, in, in today's show. Uh, but also, a bit more expansion, I think, is warranted. Uh, we need to treat 40 patients per day. And someone astute in the uh, in the old comments section there uh, suggested that a few more observation beds would lead to a few more spondulics coming in the front door. Well, I think that's a good thing. Um, so, yes, yeah, some kind of clever expansion is probably in order. Right, so uh, there you go. Uh, I was hoping that my brain would then conjure up some kind of pithy something or other to lead us to the bombastic intro. Perhaps if I just say bombastic intro. Well, we've got high drama immediately uh, as uh, Peter Young has uh, has returned uh, with a, an incorrect diagnosis. Uh, I don't know what we diagnosed his, 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 him as yesterday. Um, but this was uh, J-Lo, apparently, said that he had a chest contusion, uh, also known as a bruise. Mm, interesting. Uh, well, you know, we'll have another swing at that and, uh, and see if we can't get that right this time and and, you know, either he'll be happy or he'll be dead, one would imagine. Um, uh, right, okay, well, ongoing expansion. We've got to treat 40 patients in order to unlock the next bit. Um, I think we're capable of that. Uh, we still haven't got anything actually surgical going on because uh, reasons. Uh, let's have a look in the emergency section. It's all, I mean, it's all fired up. We're, we're ready to go here. Uh, you need. You've got. A, I've got a bed. Uh, we've got two. Two of my three observation beds are already occupied. So uh, the suggestion that uh, that getting some more uh, observation room up is. Uh, you see. Yeah. You look at. You see. You see this. Feels like an observation room to me. Um, yeah. I reckon we could. I reckon we can get a couple more beds in there. You know. All right. Let's do that. Uh, it shouldn't take very long. He said, knowing full well that it might take a little while. Uh, double doors with windows. Oh yes. Should we? Where, where's the where's the optimum place to put this? Optimal, I should say, place to put this. We'll, I, we'll, ah, ha, ha, ha. we'll figure that out in a moment. Um, right. Okay. I want observation room. Here we go. Wang that in there. Uh, it's not accessible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not accessible yet. Um, the reason it's not accessible right now is because I want to put the beds in first and then figure out the best place to stick the doors. Uh, now then, let's, uh, let's get some happy flooring on the go. Although, I thought I'd done green happy flooring. But all of a sudden, I'm being, I'm being told that no, you, you hadn't. You'd done some other colour. Uh, right, I'll tell you what, let's put some white tiles in here. That's, that'll, that'll get us out of trouble. Um, right, okay, gear up. No, you have to go back to go back to this. Go back to observation room, which is that. No, you don't need to do that. You do just need to click on the thing, and then it takes you to the stuff that you need. Uh, right, hospital bed mm, versus modern hospital bed. Mm -hmm. uh, a basic one is uh, six hundred notes versus three grand. Well, I can get five of these for one three grand bed, so. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, right, okay, yeah, bang that in there, one of those here. That's it. 
anyone hoping for privacy is uh, is plumb out of luck. Uh, and another one, and well, I think we've I think we've decided where the uh, uh, where the doors are going. Then we'll slap the doors in there. Uh, move this bench like that. Obviously, it's uh, it had a bin next to it. Oh, I'm good. Uh, we'll stick that back over there, and then we'll we'll bung the door in here. Right. I need some bits and pieces, and uh, and I'm starting to think maybe I haven't left quite enough room in order to do this. But uh, let's let's see how we get on. Can you get in there? You can. Good. Uh, 399 quid. You need an audiometer. All right. We'll bang that on there. That's another one we don't need. Bedside cabinets for everyone. For no one will be... Oh, no. There's not enough room. <laughs> Ow. Well, that's disappointing. Um, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Not all is lost here. There, we, could, uh, we could stick you in there. Turn that round and stick you in here. And what exactly have you have you resolved by doing that? Precious little, I would say. Um, there must be a way of tetrising in uh, enough uh, enough gubbins in here. Yeah, you can sleep next to the. You've got a special bedside cabinet. Let's get rid of this one because this looks rubbish now. Um, spin that around. No, I'd. Oh, what a, what a shame. Okay, so it looks like I need one more space in order to fit things in. So if we slide this along by one and then by one, then we should have enough room, right? Yeah. 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 Right. Okay, fine. Um, and then you need your, you need your bedside plug socket. All right, well, we can, uh, we can make that work. We, we can make, there you go. All right, yeah. Right, so that, I mean, we've got three. We, don't worry, we'll get more than that. It's uh, it's purely a case of, uh, of figuring out where the best place to stick things is going to be. Um, no, 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 look. Look, get get some of these beds out, all right? If, if we get rid of these, and then we can put them back in presently, all right? But uh, you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to get the fundamentals in place, and then see how much more nonsense you can squeak in here. Uh, right, if we stick that in the in the corner, put the ding dong back on the top of it. Uh, you need a you need a CRP scanner, which is going to have to sit on top of an equipment table. So about there, yeah. All right, good. Give me the CRP. There you are. Right now, then we need a disinfectant uh, dispenser room, like so. We'll stick the biohazard bin underneath it. What are we lacking? Uh, defib unit. Okay. Right. Well, can that sit uh, there? Yeah, it can. All right. A life monitor seems excessive. An advanced life monitor seems very excessive. Oh, well, okay. Let's. Uh, where does it need to live then? That's in the that's in the corridor. Oh, I see. Okay, All right. There you go. Three life monitors. Then you need medical lights, which also seems excessive. This isn't a surgical facility. Now, why was it giving me yellow there? It shouldn't have been. I'm now situated. It seems to be fine. I am a little concerned that that medical light is not uh, is not pro uh, particularly well placed, um, but we'll we'll assume it is and, uh, and move on from there. Right. Okay. And then we'll stick the mobile workstation there, and then good. I think if we get a door in here, we've got room for one more, which is a bit bit of a shame because we managed to get what seven, six, some in previously. Right. Wang that in there, and then uh, we need to get another bed in. Uh, let's go over here. Either way, uh, we have managed to up the tempo vis-a-vis -vis the number of patients that we can uh, that we can cater for at a given time. I wouldn't want the bed right next to the door. They're going to swing the door open. It's going to slap the side cabinet, and my uh, my weak lemon drink is going to go spilling hither and thither. Uh, and I'll get covered in weak lemon drink. Uh, where's my bed socket? Is that in the right side of the wall? Yes, it is. Uh, and then give me a life monitor. There we go. Right. Well, that's odd. I know you need a you need an angle poise over your over your 
private parts. There you are. All right, jobs are good. Is it? Yes, it is. All right, Spl splendid. That's uh, that's rolling. So now we can take more people in, uh, and hopefully that'll make a bit more cash. Now I I spent 16k on uh, on putting that together. Uh, oh, another patient. No, no, no. That's Pete. Pete Young. He's we've already looked at him. He's got some chest bruising. That's uh, it's, uh, undesirable. Um, the other suggestion that was received last time is that with the application of a second computer, I can get more science in my science lab. Um, I don't think it's a bottleneck at the moment. I mean, he certainly seems to be quite happily in there playing King's Quest IV. Uh, so, uh, so I don't, I, I don't think we need to up the tempo on that front yet. But when we do. Um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll make use of that uh, advice so expertly passed along. In fact, the overall uh, state of the hospital. Uh, where are we? What time is it? Uh, it is uh, 11 a.m. It's virtually empty. I mean, do I need to put a sale on or something? You know, have some kind of special price promotion event? Can we get your broken leg tended to? Only 5.99 down from the usual price of more than that. Uh, I mean, you know, it could work. Right, we've got, we have one person on observation, but they have clearly been observed now because they've vacated. Uh, and, uh, and apparently these, uh, these beds wipe clean very, very easily. So, so that's, that's jolly good too. We're now just, we're just, just waiting for the drama to happen. Look at the waiting room, there's no one in it. Brilliant. I run an efficient hospital. Um, but uh, if I can't get to 40 patients, then we're not going to get up to the next stage. So maybe there is something that I need to build that I haven't yet. I'm going to activate the uh, the hyper speed here. Uh, we'll keep our attention on Bunsen's many shirtless victims that he uh, goes. See, he was just banging on about get your shirt off, get your shirt on, get your shirt off. But yeah, this is this is a very efficiently run hospital. And uh, arguably, it actually makes some money as well. It, that's that's jolly nice. One, two in observation. Three in observation. All right, come on. Any any advance on three? Not at the moment. But they 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 do pay four hundred quid for the privilege of uh, of a couple of hours kip. So uh, so that works out in our favour quite uh, quite significantly. Um, Right, good. I haven't had to scan anyone yet, and prior to my installation of an MRI scanner, uh, my regular clinics were were all hell bent on uh, on MRIing people. Right, you're having an X-ray. Well, we've done X-rays. I mean, X-rays are old hat. I mean, we want uh, yeah, put them on a gurney, wang them in a bed. Marvelous. No one's using the old observation room anymore, despite the fact it's actually quite nice. It's got windows and what have you. No, no, no one's interested. No, no one's even remotely bothered about using the old one. So that is now seen as an overflow observation clinic. Ward. Centre. Observation facility. Uh, and there we go, that's it. We're patiented out. All the patients are done. Uh, we rattled through 31, and one of those was someone who came back. Oh, well, that's a, that's a blow. How do I... Uh, what do I need to do to get a few more people through my uh, through my front door? And it's usually you haven't got a a something yet. What have I unlocked? A CAG room. Uh, okay, I mean that's uh, Command Air Group, right? Um, but uh, yes, uh, mm, I don't know. Uh, but uh, but I haven't got one of those, so we could we could implement one of them, and maybe that will up the tempo. Uh, can we do anything here? Hospitalisation rooms, corridor, cleaning closet, ICU. Mm. Have I unlocked this? Maybe I have. Okay, all right. Well, we'll, we'll give it a try. What else have we got here? General surgery. Yes, sorry. Uh, right, waiting room, general surgery office. Isn't that what all of these are? I think this is what all of these are. Well, that's saying I haven't got any of them. Um, reception, yeah, surgical lab. Ooh. Uh, and a cleaning closet. All, all of this kind of jazz. 
Uh, oh no, there we go. Oh, we've got to unlock it by completing and short. It's all, see, you look at all the stuff, you, here's what you could win as soon as you do that. And you can go, it's funny too. But we can build an ICU by the looks of it. Well, if I click on ICU, I can build one. Here we go. Uh, right, okay, first up, we're going to need a little bit more well, room, uh, fundamentally. Uh, and I also need to decide where my, uh, my interior quadrangle is going to reside. Um, and I think if we look like that, maybe, makes that a little bit skinny. Uh, it also makes it look like I've not measured anything. There's a reason for that, and it's because I've not measured anything. Uh, well, actually, we do need to put some foundations in first, so uh, let's let's do that. I also need to have a think about, you know, if you want to have a second floor here, Chief, then uh, where exactly are you going to put that? Well, upstairs. Yes, all right, that's not what I meant. Uh, what I meant was, where are you going to put the staircase? Oh, that's just, that's just details. And why are you building such a funny shaped bit of, uh, bit of expan expansion there? You can ask the question. I can't necessarily give you the answer. All right, there you go. There's, uh, there's room for me. Central quadrangle. Yeah, I, it doesn't make any sense, does it? No. But uh, there you are. I've done that. Now that has blown quite a lot of our budget. Um, but I'm a sucker for a wall. Uh, given the opportunity to uh, to whack some walls up, I'm I'm whacking. Uh, right, let's do that. Let's do this. Uh, there you go. Right, that's uh, that's all sealed from the elements and the elephants. Um, now this is going to be all quite small. All right, no, let's let's paint it and then then put the. Um, the, the whatchamacallits in afterwards, the, the, the walls. Wall, I was just talking about walls. Uh, right, okay, what do we need? We need an on-call room. Okay, right. And that needs to be how big? Uh, four by four. Easy peasy. Right, four, try four by six. Yeah, get your head around that, laughing boy. Um, right, and then a nurse's station. So it's very much the same as my, my kind of uh, emergency triage something or other. Delio. Uh, this needs to be four by three. Minimum staff requirements, three nurses. Okay, well, try six by three and we'll we'll line them up land party style. Uh, we need a restroom, we need a corridor, <coughs> we need a cleaning closet, and uh, a common room. Okay, well I can I can do all of these things. And then over here we'll have the ICU. Now, I don't think we're going to actually get anyone that requires an ICU. But I'm building the thing anyway, because it's it's bound to come into play at some point. Well, I, actually, I'm, I'm basing that off absolutely nothing. Right, anyway, let's put the uh, common room 4x4. Four four. Yeah, now, yeah, see, that's... That's used up all of my space. I'm going to have to make a bit more room here if I want to... Uh, if I want to get a, a, a resting room in here as well. All right, well, you know, make it happen. This, uh, you know, it's not a big ask. Uh, just uh, just go another two. It's, it's expensive though, man. And like, you know, you can't just throw all your money away this way. <laughs> Watch me. I definitely can. Um, right, okay, get this and uh, remove some wall. All right, and then bang some more wall back in. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Right, there we are. How much money have I got left? 21 grand. Well, that's that's some money, isn't it? Uh, right, okay, restroom and, uh, no, restroom. Restroom. Hold on, is it happy with a three? What does it need? Three by two. It is happy with a three. Oh, hold on, what about cleaning closet? Uh, you're happy with a three as well. Right, okay, one restroom, one cleaning closet. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? What? Why did you deny me? You didn't deny me. I must have just been mistaken. Uh, cleaning closet, three by two. So what we could do here is that. And there. But, but, yes, the, that was the right idea, but uh, the poor implementation. Uh, right, do that. And then 
this, we extend around the corner like that. Because I'm, I've decided that we're going to go, you know, for a for a proper full on bit of. Uh, no, hold on, it should be three by two. That's three by three. You're fine. It's all good. We're all good. Everything's good. Uh, and then ICU, intensive care unit, um, which uh, I mean, how big is how big do you want? Because that's a that's a monster of an ICU. How about we drop to ten by ten? Right, okay, well, what uh, what do you need in there? You need all of the, we need a hematology and an analyzer. Well, okay, that, that can be arranged. Is there anything in there that is so expensive that I can't possibly afford it? It doesn't seem to be, although I am gonna struggle. Hold on, what's a fast UCJ SES eight grand? Uh, ultrasonology, well, all of that, all of that business. Um, Oh, hold on, life support machine. Mandatory equipment for ICU department. I think we're going to struggle to, to afford that, you know. Well, let's start at the beginning. Let's put some floor tiles in here to, uh, to make everybody feel at home. The ICU can have a, don't worry, you're going to live, green floor tile. Um, uh, those are roof tiles. Uh, then the restroom here can have a, don't worry, it's a restroom floor tile. Uh, and then the cleaning closet will have wipe clean white. Uh, we'll have some, uh, what have I done? What are, oh, of course, yes, I got obsessed with flipping stripy floors. Um, all right, well, you know, we'll, we'll continue that motif. There you go, have some more. Now, obviously, that, that needs to be filled in when I take the wall away, uh, but we're not ready to take the wall away just yet, and that's the wrong colour. Oh, yes, you may well say, oh, there you go, that's a different colour. It's, I'm still not entirely, you've got the wrong colour stripe, that's your problem, there you go, do that. Why couldn't you afford to outfit your ICU? Oh, I spent all my money on floor tiles. Uh, they needed to be nice. I felt uh, right. The uh, doctor's office. You can have. Uh, you can have some wooden flooring. Mm. The uh, the on call station for the nurses. Uh, they can have the nicer the nicer flooring. Uh, the common area. What I, what I'm noticing is a lack of carpet. And, uh, and I suspect that that comes because carpet is, uh, is very unhygienic compared to other floorings. So uh, there you go, that's my, that's my supposition on that point. I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford it today. I've got 18 grand, this is a non-starter for today. But what we could do is let it run for a day and then hopefully build up a little bit of cash to get it finished. That might, uh, that might work. Right, let's bang in all of the usual wall. Yeah, bit of that, bit of this. Yeah, I might be able to get a couple of cubicles in there, you know, you never know. That, that might work. Right. We, we like to leave the nurses' station open-fronted so that they can, they can go tearing into action uh, immediately as soon as, as soon as something urgent occurs. Uh, white tiles with a coloured line. Oh, yeah, that's totally... That says emergency to me in... Uh, in every possible way. Right, good. That's some walls built. How exciting. Uh, and next, some doors. I don't know, brace yourselves. Um, all right, door avec window. Yes, door avec window, yes. Uh, some kind of bathroom door. What have I used, what have I used so far? I've, I, I used the green stall door on the stalls. Uh, and then on the, because I've got a second. No, good. I just used the white door. Okay. Oh, hold on, we can change the colour of it. We can make the white door blue. No. It doesn't appear to be blue. No, no, no okay, fine. It's it's a white door, I suppose. Um, right, one times WC door. Oh, we've got to put some walls in for it to hang off. Uh, right, give it some of this. And then, I don't know, what? Do a bit of that. And then some of this. A spot of that. Go to the door section. And, uh, and door it. Yeah, get doored. Fabulous. Uh, I'll tell you what, you can even have the rest of the equipment that you so richly deserve. 
there you go. Yeah, I know. Though, I mean, they are rather small cubicles there, but they've got everything you need. Uh, right, a sink or several. Yeah, we'll have two because uh, we're ex. No, we'll have three. We'll have four. I'm, 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 I'm losing my mind. I'm going. I'm going sink crazy. A uh, couple of hand dryers, uh, just to spray things around a bit, and a bin. Perfect. I've made a bathroom, everybody. Yeah, I know. Rejoice. Um, and that's where we're going to pick it up next time, because uh, we're all out of time for today. Um, I have been Colonel Fandango, and uh, you've been an absolute delight, as always. Uh, why not uh, fling a like at this one if you enjoyed it, and, uh, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on whatever nonsense I get up to next. Uh, I'll catch up with you very soon, where hopefully we'll make a little bit of cash. Thanks for watching. Cheerio! Now, I'll usually try and leave you with some kind of excitement going on on the, uh, on the screen there uh, uh, the, as the game continues uh, while I make my hasty retreat. But today, nothing, nothing appears to be going on. Um, I've still got a bit more of this series to go. Yeah, we're going to pursue it until I've, I've, I'm going to complete the, the, the bottom floor ring. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, uh, and then stick a second floor on there, and then we'll we'll review the situation and see where we go from there. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of the series so far, and uh, and post your suggestions as to how I could make things better in the comments. And I will either offer some kind of, uh, of witty comeback, uh, or I'll completely ignore your suggestion. That's the service I provide. <laughs>